Hey guys, we're at an undisclosed location. I'll disclose the location. I'm at my parents' house, Sarah and I. Are. <laughs> and uh, today is floor demo day for the van. If you guys remember, when you joined me last time, uh, I had bought this van and the engine blown up and put a new engine in it. Well, here's the van. And we're gonna take out the floor this morning and see what is under there. Let me do a quick retour of it. Okay. Oh. So this is where the bed is gonna go. This whole area, the bed in the garage, and this tape line over. It's gonna be one bed, and then this area here is going to be it's where I want to put the fridge and some shelves uh, some shelving up here or cupboards and I wanted like to have this be a shelf area to for a little cabinet for sinking stuff the kitchen sink so yeah so I'll have a kitchen sink by this time anyway that's it we're gonna pull this up see what it looks like wish us luck I feel like you need a lot of it now all right, so this is what the bottom of the floor looks like. Um, actually, a lot less rust than I expected. So that's good. There's this weird bulge underneath my feet, though, and I don't know if that's because they were rear-ended once and just never reported it or what. And then there's some stuff I'll have to contend with here. I don't know what it looks like until I scrape it up all the way and sweep it out. Alright guys, this is what it looks like now. I tore out the floor, or my dad, Sarah, and I tore out the floor. Um, and then what a pain in the dick that kind of was. Uh, framed out what the bed will be like. It's not going to be as wide as this. We're going to put a full size uh, bed in it, and it's just going to be in it. Um, yeah. I'll fish that tomorrow when we get back from town. But uh, yeah, I used rib nuts, and those were kind of a pain in the ass, too, because my rib nut gun sucks. But now, hopefully, this will be. I don't know, this should, this should work out. I'm going to add more bolts, too. I feel I need it. I'll Google it and see if I need to. All right, guys. Uh, we finished the bed. Let me show it to you. I'm actually pretty pleased with it. So here's the bed. It's just a platform bed. Something that you might never buy at Ikea. I guarantee the assembly was a little more painful. Here's the here's the frame. I have this two by six still sticking out. Um, I think this is how wide my like our sink will be. We'll see. Um, maybe I'll chop it back more. I don't know. Uh, and then over there, that's about how wide I want that cabinet to be. Um, and then these will be like oh god. Uh, like 22 inches deep these cabinets will be so it's about here on both sides yeah so this will be like the sink area and then I might have a fridge underneath of there and then this will be all um, countertop just empty countertop and then storage underneath uh, I wasn't even looking so countertop storage underneath and then this will be a kitchen view. So when I look out, I won't always be at my parents, of course. Um, and then this will be the sink view looking out. And that's about it. I'll cover the walls eventually. Tomorrow, maybe I'll put in the fan or the uh, Max Air fan up here. Maybe if I can muster up the balls to chop a hole in my roof. But the big hole is going to be the skylight. That goes up here. I'm gonna have a 37 inch by 25 inch skylight and that scares the piss out of me the thought of cutting that hole in the roof 
So I have a buddy who, if he sees this video, he should just be prepared for me to contact him uh, for that hole. That's it. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, uh, I'm on the roof of my van, or up near the top of it, on a ladder. Um, I'm going to chop a hole in the roof today. Uh, and then maybe I'll get to mounting solar panels. I know these are pieces of cardboard. They're just to mock up the stuff. And then back there is the huge hole that I'll eventually cut for my other thing. Skylight. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to cutting this hole. But it has to be done, I guess. So stay tuned. Alright guys, like it or lump it. There's the new hole. So, uh, yeah, let's try to figure out how to get it closed up. Stay tuned. Hey guys, um, so it's done. There's the new Max Air fan installed. Kind of a pain in the dick. Um, I put uh, the lap sealant self leveling goop on it. I'll probably touch it up tomorrow because it's already starting to settle off some of the screw holes and everything. And then I'll show you what it looks like down here. My dad helped me. Wouldn't have been able to, I'd still be up there just burning if he wouldn't have helped. And then there it is. Um, haven't wired it up yet. I'm in no hurry to wire it up because my solar's not up. Um, Maybe I'll get that up tomorrow, but for now, that's a wrap. Good morning, guys. It's uh, about 10 a.m. It's as hot as the sun right now. <laughs> I blame the sun. Um, but look what, look what we did last night. The solar panels are in. Um, yeah, I slapped the solar panels in last night. Uh, that went better than I anticipated. Couldn't exactly mount them butt to butt like I was wanting, but because um, the mounting brackets and the ridges on the top of the van, but whatevs. Um, it's in, it's up. And uh, now I'm gonna punch a hole about right here for the wiring to run down into the van. And then I'll just figure out what I'm gonna do from there. I have an idea, but that's it. Um, talk to you guys later. Hey guys. <laughs> so, Sarah and I are sitting on the side of the interstate. <laughs> we have like 50 miles to Gila Bend. Um, van started getting warm, and then it just went completely gutless. Sitting here on the side of the road, it's idling right now. We're Googling our ass off of what it could be. Potentially, it just gets hot and doesn't like to operate. It is 116 degrees in the van right now, according to our little sensor on the bed. So, so we're not in bed, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, just waiting for it to cool down. Hopefully, it cools down a bit, and we can get on the road because we have half of the 16 ounce bottle of water between the two of us. <laughs> so that sucks. Anyway, thought I'd let somebody know in case we don't make it out of here. Hashtag man life. Hey guys, so we're in Yuma. There's the highway out there. We're actually at the Cracker Barrel parking lot because the state's a Cracker Barrel. And now we are going to head back to San Diego. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do exactly, but if it works, it'll be a totally boss story. If not, um, then the next video will be a part of a breakdown story. Oh. Alright, I didn't tell you that part. Um, yeah, so just trying to get back to San Diego where the weather's cooler and I can work on the van. Because Gila Bend. Arizona is way too hot to try to work on anything other than ice cream. So that's it. Leaving Yuma. Oh yeah, 
and uh, Mark and Kara. I'm sorry I didn't stop by. <laughs> See you next time. Hey guys. <laughs> so, uh, figured out what's wrong with the van. Um, it's the turbo resonator. Um, mine had a crack un in it under boost pressure, so um, tomorrow I'll go have it replaced and I'll get my post engine rebuild um, oil change done. And I guess get my cabin air filter replaced also. Um, and then the van should be back to new. Um, the boost resonator is a pretty common problem, I'm told. Um, and it's less money than the other common problem that I was hoping it was. So this is even a less expensive problem. So that's awesome. Plus it'll give me a virtually indestructible solution to boost resonator problems. So that's awesome. And now you're joining us in California rush hour traffic. Something I have not experienced in several months. Uh, and I kind of missed it, even though I absolutely hate traffic. It's just nice to be back in California. So, so here I am sitting in traffic like a dummy hey guys <laughs> so we're <coughs> we're in my favorite yeah. I'd say this is my uh, my favorite Whole Foods in La Jolla that's where that's where my first dinner back in the US is is the Whole Foods because uh, they have a really good bar and have Whole food salad bar, and uh, I didn't want to fight the traffic to get across town, so we just stopped off here. Um, I used to get breakfast or brunch here all the time, anyway. Anyway, I'm um, walking back to the van, the van's back here. Yes, the same van that I'm going to drop off at the mechanic tomorrow. Hopefully, he'll let me watch because I'm excited to see him do sprinter van stuff to it. That's all. I'm going to the beach now because we're in California again. Hey guys, so um, Sarah just got to see me in handcuffs. Uh, she doesn't like that. Long story, um, probably not going to go into detail. Don't go into it. Okay, I'm not going to. But um, that just happened. <laughs> Welcome back to California. Hashtag van life. Hashtag van life. Sorry. Hey guys, so uh, I'm locked out of the van. I w went into storage, I'm in a storage unit, and then I was putting some stuff in the back, tossed my keys up on the bed, and then uh, made sure I locked the door, and then locked the door with my keys on the freaking bed. It's so weird how you can lock the door and immediately upon doing so, know that you'd fucked up. Well, that's what I've done and uh, that wouldn't normally be a problem because I've broken in a lot of vehicles by myself because I have a particular set of skills but I'm at an impasse right now and I'll show you why this is my dilemma yes I've called a lockout service I'm just trying to see if I can beat them to it they should be here maybe in a half hour. Maybe. We will see. You know what some people also do? I was reading online. They take a little knife blade and they cut each one of these four corners and then they just pry the whole paint out and they slip it in later. 
but I'm not wanting to do that. I used to just punch windows out, and I'm not doing that today either, so we'll see how I get in. It's probably going to be the lockout service. All right, this is where I'm at. I fashioned a grappling hook with a uh, paper clip, <laughs> and I put it inside, and then the paper clip turns, so I'm trying to get the shoestring to turn with it. Ugh, it's almost there. Hey guys, I'm uh, in the van. Uh, long story long, my grappling hook thing didn't work because uh, it just wouldn't turn in enough to ever loop the handle. So, and then about my second attempt doing that, the, the guy showed up, so and he was good, but uh, I still had to end up just borrowing his tool and getting in the van. But I couldn't have done it without his tools, so. Or I was, it was not going to be fast if I would have used his tools, so let's put it that way. So that's it, I'm in the van, heading home.